Okay, sixth grade, lesson 119, almost done. We are on finding a hole when a percent is known. Now, this is kind of like the lesson we did previously, not last lesson, but the lesson before. Okay, so listen to this, because we're gonna do two ways to, to do this problem, okay? Here's what it says. 30% of the tribe, 30% of the tribe were warriors. I don't know what they call the rest of the tribe, but there you go. Then it says there are 150 warriors in all. Okay, I don't know what the rest of the tribe is called, but there are 150 warriors, which makes up 30% of the, the people. And now I want to know this. What is the population of the tribe? So that'd be 70%, right? Right. Well, no, they want to know the whole tribe. So oh, okay. let's do it like we did last time, and then I'm going to teach you a new way. Okay? Now, because we're doing percents, guess what we're going to do? We're going to break it up into 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent, like that. Because how much does a whole equal? 100 percent. Right? We could also do three tenths and it would work. Right, which is fine too. Which I'm going to do tens, but one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Okay, so thirty percent would be here, right? Mm-hmm. This would be thirty percent. Okay, so how much does each of these make up? Um oh 150. Sorry. Whoops. Yes. It makes up a total of there are 150 warriors in all. But each of them is 50, I think. Okay, yes. Because there are three. So I'm going to go and raise 30. Even though it's 30%, we have three here. You see? And so if there's 150 warriors, which are this, this portion right here, then how much would be in each? Uh, 50. I would take 150 and divide it by three, right? Yeah. Okay. So 50, 50, and 50. Does that give us 150? Yep. Which is 30% of the tribe. Very good. Okay, so now what they're wanting to ask us is, um, what was the population of the tribe? So that's everybody. Put 50 in all of them. In so 50 times, how many of them are there? Uh, 10. 10. Yeah. 10. So 50 times 10 becomes 500, right? So the total number is 500. That's your answer. Now, this is the way of doing it like I taught you a while ago, but they're wanting you to learn a new method. So let me show you that new method today, or what we're going to do next. Okay, so listen to my words. 30% of, remember what of means in math? Times. Okay, so 30% of the tribe, we don't know what the tribe is, or how many there are, we just know that the tribe includes a certain amount, is warriors. How many? 150. Okay. You see what I did? 30% of the tribe was warriors, which was 150 of them. Yep. And then they told us that there are 150 warriors. So do you see what I've done so far? 30% of the tribe equals 150 warriors. Okay, but we don't know what the 70, the rest of the 70 is. Okay, but we do because we did that problem a while ago. Now, watch what I do here, okay? How do I make 30% into a decimal? Because you can never leave a percent when you're working the problem. Is it 0 0.03? Point, well, it's 30%, so it goes 1, 2, point three zero. Oh. Okay, so every time you have a percent, you're dividing by 100 because 30% is 30 over 100 which is 0 0.30 because tenths, hundredths, right? Yep. Okay, so 0 0.30 times, we don't know what, equals 150. Now, if this was a normal problem, I want you to watch this, okay? So I'm gonna erase this up, up, above it, okay? How am I gonna figure out what T is? 0.30 times what equals 150? Well, let's take just normal numbers and put them in the problem. What if I said 4 times what equals 20? What would you do to answer the problem? Uh, you would... Uh, What's the opposite of multiplication? Oh, uh, subtraction. Division? Division, yeah. Right? So, I, how do I get 4 times 5 equals 20? I take 20 and divide it by 4 to get 5. 
So I know that the T is going to give 5. So guess what I have to do on this problem? Just like I took 20 and divided by 4 to get 5, I'm going to take 150 and divide it by 0.30. So watch what I do. 150 divided by 0 0.30. Now, do you remember what happens? Because I can't have decimals. It has to be a whole number here. You move it over twice. Very good. One, and two. You have to move the other one, which would right. be Right. And right now, thousand. where is the decimal? At the very end. At the very end. Even if you can't see it, it's always there. So because I went one, two, I'm going to go one, two. And what am I going to fill this in with? Zeros. Very good. Now, let's work the problem. <coughs> 30, can it go into one? No. 30 into 15? No. 30 into 150? Yes. So it's going to go right here. 30 times 5 equals 150. Even? Evenly. So then I take 30 goes into a zero, um, zero, zero times. And you bring that down and bring down my zero. 30 goes into zero, zero times. And once I finish at that spot, that means I'm done. And that's it. So the answer, T equals 500, which we figured out when we were doing the chart. Okay? But this is just a new way of doing it. All right, let's try another one. Do it the new way. Okay? So listen to this problem. Here's what it says. 30% of what number is 120? Now, let's change this um, of changes to what in math? Times. 30% of what number? We can put any, what letter do you want to put in there? You want to put W? N for number? B. B? 30% of what number is, what is is in math? Equals. All right, so now that's our problem. But what do we have to make 30% into? Because uh, we can't leave it as 0.30. 0.30. Okay, very good. We need to make it into a decimal number. Okay, now, so I'm saying 0 0.30 times what number equals 120? How do I answer it? Uh, you, wait. Remember how so we did you, the last one? Yeah, you make a graph first, right? No, we don't have to do that. That's what, This is our new way of learning okay. for this one, for this Point thirty times what equals 120? Do you divide? <clears throat> yes, because I'm saying point thirty times what equals 120. Yeah. Right? Point thirty times what equals 120. Okay, so we have to make this a whole number. Okay, so you put okay. it into, it can't go into 12. So, so wait just a minute. Oh, we yeah, moved sorry. it twice. So where's my decimal here? Uh, it go over twice. It's at the end. Oh, yeah. But since we want to move it one, two, we go one, two. Fill that in. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and move that up while I'm Put thinking about it. After 12. Okay. So now 30, it won't go into one, 30 won't go into 12, but it will go into 120. Three times what go? Three times what goes into 12? Just to kind of help us. Four. Four. So 30 times four will equal 120, just so you know. Okay, so then I subtract, bring something down. 30 times 0 is 0. Bring it down. 30 times 0 is 0. And we are done. And that is the end of it. So, 30% of 400 is 120. Yep. Okay, we've got one last problem and we're done. Okay, write this one on your paper. Okay. Here's what it says. 16 is... 25% of, I'm going to put a W in, what number? That's the question. 16 is 25% of what number? Okay. Okay. So, let's make this mathematical. 16 changes to? The number. 16. Is changes to? Equals. 25%. It stays, I think. Yes, well, but because it's point, percent, point two, I, point two five Of? Oh, oh, sorry, uh, times multiplication. multiplication. Very good. And what number? We can put a question mark and in. I just like to use in. Okay? So now, I'm going to take 0.25 times what number equals 16. So what am I actually doing? Uh, you're dividing. Okay. Now, I'm saying 0.25 times what? 0.25 times what equals 16. And then actually be 1,000. Okay, so let's move this. 1, 2, 
And there's my decimal. One, two. Okay? You put a comma after three. Huh? Then you put a comma after three. You know what I'm saying? Right, but not right now. We're not going to. Okay. No. Because our answer is in decimal form. So this is actually $16. Kind okay. of, if you were to see it like that. Okay, so can 25 go into 1? Nope. Uh, no. 25 going to 6? 16? No. no. Nope. 25 go into 160? Yep. Yes, I don't know how much. So, uh, let's say 25 times 6 maybe. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12. 13, 14, 15. Okay, I got to 150. I can't add any more because it would be 25 more than that, which would be 175, so I'd go over. So, 6 is our answer here. 6 times 25 is 150. Okay? Then, if I subtract, bring that zero down, 25 will go into 100. Well, think about quarters. How many quarters equal a dollar or 100 cents? 25 uh, times 4. 4. Very good. So 25 times 4 is 100, and that ends it. So my answer is 0.64. Got it? Mm -hmm. You feel like you understand it? Yep. Oh, wait. My, I, I didn't move my, my decimals over here. I moved it 1, 2, so it goes up here. Sorry. I, didn't I was move. wondering. About I know. Sorry about that. That was my bad. Sorry about that. Okay, so because we moved, it was just 16, and then when we took this and made this a whole number, we also had to take this and make this a number like that and then bring the decimal up. So 64 is our final answer. Yep. That's lesson 119.